Hello, my name is Tupi and in this video I will show you how to install and use Animal Sense. First we install this MSI file, it's a very straightforward installer, there's absolutely nothing. After it is installed we run Visual Studio 2008 and we will create a new web project. It is important that we have to create a new web project. Animal Sense will only work with this type of projects. So let's create an ASP.NET MVC web application. Let's call it uh, test application. And let the wizard kick in. No, we don't want to create a unit test project. We only want to show how IntelliSense works within ML files. So our project is complete. First we have to add some references because we might want to use some other references uh, I usually add Microsoft Web MVC and of course Animal and Animal Web MVC. So let's add these files to the list. After they are add added we have to make sure they are copied locally. If they are we have to build the project then exit Visual Studio and reopen it. Okay this step is quite important but it, uh, you have to only do this once per project so no worries okay after we have done this initial setup we can create our new ML file for this I choose a code file and call this uh, test.ml we have to make sure that the extension is HEML because only for this extension is the language service registered. So let's start some typing some ML, an XML prolog doc type, then we create a new header. As you can see, we have syntax highlighting. This syntax highlighting works for tags, class declarations, and ID declarations. It's <laughs> actually nothing fancy. Now let's move on and try something really interesting. We want to write out the content of the model. So for this we use a new paragraph and voila! We have actually a working implementation of IntelliSense. As you can see this is a view page that model, it is an object. We convert it to two string. Everything works fine. Ok, let's try something different. We write out the, the characters of the model, character by character, just to show you how loops work. So, we create a new for each loop inside an unordered list. As you can see, IntelliSense works for every step in this demonstration so we have created a new character in this block as you can see it is available inside the block and of course it is un unavailable after the block so it actually works so this is actually everything you need to know about Animal Sense, but there are a few additions. For example, the model is by default an object. So if you want to use typed models, then you can help IntelliSense by creating a new comment in the first line and put in a semicolon. And after the semicolon, you can write the clause from which you want the model to be inherited. For example, if you want to the model to be a string, then enter string after the semicolon. And as you can see, the model is now not an object, but a string. And IntelliSense knows what uh, <coughs> methods the string actually has. So, for example, you no, don't need to use two string because you have all the methods here available. 
of course you can try other things like list of strings or anything else I write some fancy things like uh, listing all strings within this model and then just to show you some nested blocks we will list all characters inside this string it's actually nothing too too complex so this is one addition uh, to the NML language the other one is that you can put some uh, namespace includes for example if you want to use something from the Microsoft Web MVC namespace like the class Ajax extensions by default you have to write out Microsoft Web MVC because without it you can see this class but if you write the namespaces you want to include by default before the semicolon like Microsoft Web MVC you have like Ajax extensions without the full declaration of the model. So actually this is everything you need to know about how NMSense works. Now I will show you some of the things that uh, NMSense does not support currently. Unfortunately NMSense does not doesn't use uh, NML for parsing so some things like the multi-line code insertions are not working they are ugly anyway and other things included in NML like the like this construct as you can see there is no intelligence support if you want to write things like that okay so that's all i hope you enjoy using this library Bye.